town of Colton, Georgia, wears its history on the wall. Life unfolds here alongside these murals, all painted with characters of the past. Two of those people were uh, J.W. and Clarence Anglin. The Anglin brothers were escape artists. In no prison, no jail could hold them. Not even Alcatraz. They found a way to break out. The Anglin brothers wanted more than their small town life spent picking cotton in South Georgia had to offer. And to get that life, they certainly weren't going to work in the fields. And then they figured out early on that they could make a little bit better living by robbing service stations and grocery stores and things like that. But what sent them to the rock was their ability to break out of every jail after that, from county lockup to the state pen, and ultimately out of Alcatraz in 1962. New research shows the men may have been able to survive the escape. Dutch scientists examining San Francisco Bay's strong tides recreated possible routes. You think they ever came back here? Oh, sure, absolutely. Too many stories about them being seen and about them being heard from. They were dressed like women at my mama's funeral. And I did ask him. I Marie Anglin Widener is their younger sister. She has at least three said, reasons to believe her brother survived. Dead. First, a late night knock on her mother's door. Those boys knocked on her window and woke her up in the middle of the night to let her know that, that they, they were, were okay. all right. Next, a mysterious Christmas card, never postmarked, yet somehow it was delivered three years straight after the escape. The cards were signed Joe and Jerry, and we didn't know anybody by the name of Joe and Jerry. The death of her brother brought the most telling revelation. He gave a deathbed confession. He had been in touch with him for the last 25 years. Her home is an Alcatraz museum of the most personal kind. These are paintings of their girlfriend. Their nephew David says the artistic hobby was nothing more than a ruse to get the tools that they needed to create these decoys and escape. Without those, they couldn't have got the paint they needed yeah. for the heads. Now, if England has ever spoken with her brothers, she says she'll never admit it, even to FBI agents. And he said, I'm still looking for your brothers. And I said, well, I hope you find them. And he said, uh, what would you do if you found them? I said, I wouldn't tell you where they were. 